Hello and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So today we are in the kitchen and I am going to show you a easy method of how to use up some of your garden fresh basil. I have a lot of this growing all the time in my garden, usually close to my tomatoes. Basil makes a great companion plant around tomatoes. It helps attract beneficial insects like the the butterflies and the bees, but it also repels uh, bad insects that can uh, attack some of your vegetables, such as the tomato. And I also read somewhere that having basil growing near your tomato plants can help enhance the flavor of your tomatoes. Not sure if that's true or not, but when you have this growing in your garden, of course, it gets bigger and you want to be able to harvest and use the basil for you know your spices or in your fresh cooking. But today I had a nice little pile of it here and I thought I would show you how to make an easy basil pesto recipe and then show you how I freeze it and store it away for a whole variety of different recipes. So there's some basic ingredients involved in a pesto recipe. This is of course the basil. I also had some beautiful parsley growing in my garden bed so I picked some of it and I've got about two cups of it here. It's been washed and spun dry. I also have my very first garlic uh, cloves that I harvested from my garden. It's not very big, but I think this little bulb here will be the perfect size for this recipe. So normally the traditional ingredient in pesto is pine nuts, which we all know are very expensive. So using walnuts is a great alternative. It's much more economical and I find the taste is still really good using walnuts. We're also going to squeeze in some lemon use some good quality extra virgin olive oil and it's optional whether you want to add in some salt and fresh ground pepper and also the parmesan cheese is optional i find if i have it i'll use it in the recipe otherwise parmesan is something you can just add into your recipes when you're cooking with the pesto so to blend up my pesto i'm going to be using my nutri bullet you could also use a food processor, which works really well. I just find this is so much easier to clean and I'm just making a small recipe. So my Nutribullet should be able to do the job. And then also you want something that you can freeze your pesto in easily, such as an ice cube tray. So we will start off by loading up some of our ingredients here into the blender, starting with our basil. So the recipe calls for two cups of washed and dried basil and two cloves of garlic. I ended up with four small ones here from my garlic bulb, which I'm going to add in. It also calls for a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'll just squeeze in. Half a cup of walnuts. So the recipe also calls for a quarter cup of olive oil. I want this to be a little thicker because I'm going to be freezing it as opposed to eating it fresh. So I'm going to start off with just a few pours of the olive oil. We'll blend it up and then we'll see what kind of consistency we have after that. I've measured out a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to add some fresh ground black pepper. Again, the pepper is optional, as is the salt. I'm going to wait until after I have it blended, give it a taste, and decide if I need to add any salt or not. So that's it. You are ready to get this blending. So I missed hitting the record button when I first started blending up this mixture here. It was a little bit dry. So I just added another small pour of olive oil to it and we will give it another blend here. You can see here it's still a fairly thick consistency so I'll just add another pour of olive oil to this so 
So once you think you have it to the consistency that you like, you can give it a taste test and add more salt or pepper to taste. So this should keep in the fridge for a week or two. I like to freeze it in small ice cube, uh, about tablespoon size that I can add to a variety of different things when I'm cooking. So this is just a great way to use up your basil if you have a bunch growing in the garden or if you love making pesto with fresh basil that you purchase from maybe the store or from the market garden. This is just an easy recipe. This smells amazing. So I will leave the recipe that you follow today in the description box below so that you can check it out. As I mentioned, this was using a two cup serving of basil. You could double this up if you have a lot more basil or if you want a lot more pesto. I find the flavor of pesto is fairly strong. So just keeping these in one tablespoon size uh, serving seems to work really well when I'm adding it to uh, my recipes. So now these are ready to be popped into the freezer. So once your pesto is frozen, you can just remove it from the ice cube trays here. That should come out fairly easy. And as you see there, there's some nice sized portions to use in your recipes. So I just put it in a freezer bag and put it in the freezer and use whenever I need it. So I hope you found this recipe helpful and you will try it out using up some of your fresh basil if you have some. So I will include the recipe in the description box below so you can trust it out if you'd like. Also don't forget to subscribe to my little garden newsletter. I'll leave the link below as well. Hit that like button, leave me a comment, and we will see you on the next video.